With this video, I'm going to be taking you through the um, installation and setup of your wearable pulsed electromagnetic field and biophotonic device, which is this. Included in your package is a standard uh, USB charger. You should have one of these cubes as well. It's a simple charging um, station. You go ahead and you plug this into your electrical outlets. And here we've got a cable over here um, or a port. You just go ahead and plug this in and then you will see these pilot lights will come on. When all three pilot lights are on and they stay on, you know this device is um, fully charged. So right now, the way this technology works, it is Bluetooth enabled. Um, now the cool thing, if you are using the Genius, what we do within the Genius is we generate a low level Schumann resonance field throughout your entire session. And that Schumann resonance field, it helps kind of mitigate the harmful effects of your um, EMF. So with this device, um, ideally you want to place it on the inside of your wrist by your radial arteries, typically on your left hand as well, closest to your heart. However, what you can do with this is you can take it off and you can apply um, localized balancing wherever you want. So if there's a specific acupuncture point or a specific organ or a specific meridian that you'd like to balance, you can just go ahead and do a localized um, type of effect with that. So once your device is fully charged, your next step is to basically connect it um, to, your, to your device. So depending whether you are using an Android or whether you are using an Apple iOS, um, the first thing is that we need to connect it to uh, Bluetooth. So as you can see, we have a little pilot button here, which we're gonna go ahead and turn on. And what we wanna do for the first time, because we need to connect it to Bluetooth, we need to make this discoverable. In other words, I'm going to depress this on off button and I'm going to hold it down for a period of three to five seconds. During that time, you will see a blue blinking light. That blue blinking light means that it is in pairing mode. It is looking for a device to connect to. So let's just go ahead and open up our settings. Let's get to Bluetooth. And as you can see, I've got a variety of different um, Bluetooth pieces of hardware here. I'm gonna depress this button and hold it down for a period of a few seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my Bluetooth off. Sometimes it's advisable to turn your Bluetooth off and then um, on again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and I'm going to hold it down. We're going to wait for the discoverable mode. And as you can see, the discoverable mode, you are looking for the device of MH-M18. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to, as you can see, there's the odd blinking light it's now going to try to connect that. So as you can see, it now says your MH-M18 is now connected. I've got my three pilot lights on, indicating that the device is now paired. It is now ready to use. What I always do as a quick little check, just to make sure that it is actually functioning, is within this device, we have a, both a left channel as well as a right channel. The left channel is where we activate the PMF and then the right channel is where we activate um, the biophotonics, the red and the infrared LEDs. So a quick little test and then a simple search. What I search for is left, right audio channel, left, right speaker test. Go ahead and click on this. Now remember, because this device is now connected, I should not hear any audio um, from my device. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It's going to open up and as we can see we now have the red flashing lights and now we're going to be testing the left and the right. During the left as you'll notice the lights are not on because here we have the pulsed electromagnetic field that's being generated. That is the magnetic coil inside and then when we switch to the right we know that the LEDs are being um, turned on LEDs both red and um, infrared as well. So that's a quick little test I, um, I like to do. As you can see it kind of toggles between the left and the right and you will see the lights turn on and turn off. 
I always like to do this. It's a kind of independent test, independent verification, um, just to make sure that it is actually working correctly. So now we know it's working correctly, we can go ahead and we can um, open up our genius. And let's just say as an example, I'm gonna do a quick balancing. Now typically with the LEDs, uh, with the wearable, I always recommend that you have your volume set up to the highest. Now what you will notice is that sometimes these lights will not come on, sometimes they will come on. When they are coming on, um, it indicates that the left channel is being activated. You should not expect these LED lights to be on all the time. And also bearing in mind that some of the power within the Genius is a kind of more of a sort of subtle base therapy. So it may not be directly activating the LED. However, um, the kind of photonic emission is actually still happening as well. So uh, the important thing, make sure your volume is up, make sure your mic is, um, is turned on as well. Um, so that's the most important thing. And then again, you can go ahead and you, cling, you can click stop. You can um, drag items to a different tray and you can click start as well. If you go ahead and if you adjust the frequency, shape and form, you will see some modifications as well. But really simple to use. Um, typically what we advise is that during your entire session, you actually wear it. Um, so if your session is 45 minutes to an hour and a half, I would suggest you wear it. Um, if you do want to uh, wear it uh, for a longer period of time, you certainly can do that. But I'm certainly more of the opinion that treat this like a normal sort of PMF LED session where you want to do between 35 to 45 minutes a day and you do not need to uh, continue doing that. Um, so that's your wearable. It generates both pulsed electromagnetics as well as your red and infrared um, biophotonics. Hope you understand the installation instructions. Bearing in mind every now and then the Bluetooth may turn, may turn off or it may deactivate depending on the number of, of Bluetooth items or Bluetooth pieces of hardware that you have attached. Um, as you can see I've got quite a few here so sometimes it may knock off. You just go ahead and repeat that process. Sometimes turn off Bluetooth, turn on, turn on your device, set it into discoverable mode and I don't know if you can see, but there's a small little blue um, dot over here. And that is the discoverable mode, and that's where it turns on the Bluetooth to, be na to enable the uh, connection. Make sure it's connected, then go to your YouTube left uh, right channel audio test, and then you are good to go. Thank you.